Hello everyone. So I got my feeding done for the day and I'm down here now working on getting these panels going for that customer I was telling you about. So what I got to do, so like I said, I've got um, 18 uprights right here. I've got the, I got the saddles cut already. And so now I need to just go through and grind out these tips here. So the, so it'll fit nice and snug inside of their pipe. So I'll show you. So this, I got this one ground out already. Just wanting to show you like how nice that fits once you get them ground out. So this other side here, I haven't ground it out yet. And I'll show you here. So see how it doesn't fit very nice. It just it keeps it too far away from that mouth. So I just, like I said, I just got to grind these tips off. And uh, I just want to, well, uh, well, for an overview, I know I did a video a while ago about how I cut these saddles. So I, like I said, I like to cut my saddles in a, a chop saw. So I've got this metal chop saw that I like to use. And um, so I just set up my chop saw and I set my chop saw angle at, um, what, at 35 degrees. Then where's my, and I grabbed this piece of angle iron I got over here. Let's see. So this angle iron, and I, I do my mark. Got one over. So I'll come through and I'll put this piece of angle iron on here. So I got, you know, the angle iron's on this end and is on that end also. So then I know I'll mark both ends. Then I just know my, where I put my marks going to be straight across from each other. So my, my saddles will be lined up with each other and one won't be, you know, 20 degrees off, off angle. So then I, like I said, I just come through with my chops on do a 35 degree cut and I roll my pipe over then do another 35 degree cut boom and that's what it leaves me with and all I can do all I have to do after that just like I said just grind these these tips off then once I get those ground off she's ready to go and get welded up so like I said I just got to grind all these tips off of these and then I'll be able to start fitting up another another panel and uh, like I said, I got four more of these that I need to build. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of in a rush, I guess. Um, we'll get it done though. I got a little bit of time. I probably got about a month or two. I probably got a month. I'll, I'll need to have them done by mid-April, because come April we're going to be starting to do our maintenance on the equipment and whatnot, and we'll be farming probably closer to, probably closer to the end of April. I bet we'll be farming. So I got a little bit of time to get these done. So we'll just get going on these and. Do what we can when we can. Last one. Yeah, last one. So I did 18 of them. Yeah, I got the chickens over there too. They hung out with me the whole time. Surprisingly, I figured the sparks and all the noise would scare them away, but it didn't. So yeah, she's done. I like to I like to grind on the the outside here also, just so when I make my weld, it uh just has clean metal. So your, your weld's going right on good clean metal. Gets rid of all that mill scale and a little bit of that rust. But we are done with the grinding part. Like I said, they, they fit real nice. See that? Like I said, I really like that method with the chop saw, just doing a little bit of grinding. They fit on there really nice. So, yep, we're done with that. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get my jig set up. So these stands right here that I got that pipe on, I've got, I don't know, I got seven of them around the machine shed. And I got a couple back there, 
come over there. But if you look on the floor here, so I got marks. So I got two marks there, mark there, mark there, and then two marks down there. So I'll set my jigs up on those, on those marks. Then I know almost right away that I'll be pretty square with my panel. So I get my jig set up and I'll start laying out my pipe. And we'll get everything squared up and we'll start we'll start welding it up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna move all my my stands onto those marks and we'll start moving pipe. And I'll see you guys in a minute. So I got my, my stands all set up on my marks. I'll show you real quick. So I got six stands and I use my seventh one here just to hold my uprights in the middle when I'm welding. So you can see with my stands, I did I did each of them or every other one opposite. So this one, the, the bottom stand's going this way. The next one it's going up and down. The next one it's that way. I did it that way just when I built those stands so I get a little bit of stability holding up that, that panel. Cause I bet, you know, when I get this panel all built, it's, I bet they weigh four or 500 pounds. They're not light. This drill pipe I use is, I'm pretty sure it's 3 16 thick, if I remember right. And uh, they're 24 feet long. So the, the guy that wants this order, he wants four drill pipe panels at 24 feet. Then he wants the other two at just 20 feet. So the first two I've done, uh, they were 24 feet. So I got two more to do that are 24 feet. And I got two more that are gonna be 20 feet. So right, we're set up with our jigs. I just need to start shuttling over my my links there and then I'll get throw my uprights up so we'll get going these uprights, at least for these 24 foot ones, you need five of them. There's our five uprights and our two long runs. Um, so like I said, we've got them laid out. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna mark every six feet on these long ones. That's where my uprights will go across that every six feet. So we'll find my tape measure and I'll get that done. And once I get my my six feet marked, I'll come back through and I'll grind where that mark is. Just get rid of all this rust and nail scale off the, the pipe. So like I said, so I have something nice to, nice to clean, clean, something that's nice and clean that I can weld to. So I'm gonna find my tape measure and get that marked out and go back to grinding for a second. Had to take a break for a minute. Lindsay brought us over some lunch. Some pizza. Yeah, we're having some pizza. 
pizza, Dr. Pepper, cookie dough. Dogs are here waiting for scraps. <laughs> chickens are still running around. They'll probably get some scraps if chickens will. But we're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna talk to my wife. They're over there doing their dust bath. Break time's over. We've had our lunch. So I'm gonna finish marking my panels and start grinding them, cleaning them up, set up my uprights. Say bye to Lindsay. Bye, till next time. Yeah, we'll see her in a little bit. Let's get back to work. Measurements done. I got them all ground out and cleaned up. So I said every six feet I marked and then I ground them and cleaned them up every six feet. So we're ready to start tacking things up and get things squared up. So we'll grab other stand and we'll get this upright propped up there and we'll get ready to square things up and get things tacked. So let's get going on that. So I got my first upright uh, tacked up. I got everything squared away. So I, I usually put four tacks on. So I'll put one, uh, so I'll put two on each side. So I'll put one, two, and then one, two on the back side. So that side's tacked up. This side's tacked up. And the way I, the way I square these up, uh, I use this, this is carpenter square. I guess is what you'd call it. And uh, I just place it right. Right in there, like that. I just square it up that way. Yeah, so then I know it's square. And I do the same thing on the other side there. I square that side up. And like I said, I, I know I'm pretty close when I start off because of my marks on the floor, because I know those are pretty square already, but then I just fine tune it with this carpenter's square. So we got our first upright tacked up. So we got um, three more to tack up. Uh, I, I leave that very end one off because I got to slide my sucker rod through before I get done. So we'll tack up three more and we'll go to welding. So let's get those other three tacked up and get going on some welding. That's my favorite part. I love the welding. That's my favorite part. Um, all this other stuff is kind of what you have to do so you can weld. So let's get going on that. I got everything tacked up. Um, I don't know if you can see or not, there we go. So I do, I forgot, I do tack up this, this end one just so when I cut out my holes with my plasma cutter, this one's up and I can just cut my holes out for the sucker out to slide through. I'll show you eventually, you'll understand what I'm saying. So, yep, all four of these are tacked up and this one's just got one tack on it just to hold it in place. So we'll, we'll start going to welding. So what I do, um, what I do on these welds, at least on these uprights, is I do two pass welds. So I'll do a root pass right down in here and get right, right in that root. And I'll do a root pass and I'll do my root pass all on each end and I'll come back through. And I'll do my last, my second pass and I'll do a weave up and over. Um, yeah, I'll we'll just weld all these up and then we'll, after we get everything welded up, we'll have to cut all our holes for the, the sucker rod, and I'll show you all that too. So let's get to welding. I figured I'd show you how I weld these up. So I'll do my first pass real quick, and I'll stop and talk for a minute. I had to take my, my coat off, I was getting too hot. I had to shut my door also, because the wind was starting to blow in here, and with these, these wire feed welders, if you get 
any like the slightest breeze, they just don't weld very well because it blows away all your shielding gases that are up here in this nozzle and just makes some bad welds. So let's get welding on our first pass and get this first upright up. First pass. So yeah, like I said, there's our, our first pass. So I'm gonna come back through. I'm gonna do my second pass. And we'll just keep keep working on this first first upright. Let me swing back around and make sure I've got it pointed in the right spot. Alright, looks good. Alright, let's do our second pass. Just need my wire brush real quick. I'll find that. go so that's how I do it I won't do this other one just so the video stays fairly short what I do with my brush so that's my two pass weld that I put on them Yeah, then I'll come back through eventually um, when I'm done and I'll because I'll have to drop these panels when I'm all done and I'll weld the bottom I, I do it right now but some of these uprights have uh, some kind of I wonder if I can show you they've got some kind of I don't know a paste paste in them and when I get welding on them it liquefies that paste and it starts dripping and so I oh you might have seen that one there so I can't get under there and weld it because that, that just drips on me and just makes a bad weld. So I just, when I get done, I drop them and I flip them over and I weld the backside, just make it easier on myself. So yeah, there's one, one joint welded. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven more joints to weld. 
So we'll get our seven joints welded up and then we will, um, after that I'll go to cutting my holes for the sucker rod. I'll show you that eventually too. So let's keep on welding. We got her all welded up. All of our joints are looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. They're definitely gonna be strong enough to keep the cows from busting out. So our next step is going to be cutting the holes in this drill pipe using that plasma cutter. Uh, I'm gonna save that for another video though because I'm sure this one's getting pretty long. I got that meeting at the church tonight at six. So I need to get heading home and taking a shower. Probably having a little bit of dinner. So that's how we weld her up though. We got, like I said, we did our, we got our four uprights welded. So one, two, three, four. The other one down there is just tacked. I'm getting set up to start punching holes. But we're gonna save that for maybe tomorrow night or whatever, it just depends on what time I get home from work tomorrow. If I get home early enough, I'll come back in here and work on this. So I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow night. <laughs> 